The unknown day and hour. Imagine you work at someone's house. One day, the master of the home leaves and entrusts you to steward their property, and you have no idea when they would return. What would you do? Take a nap? Throw a party? Eat all the food in the pantry? Ignore instructions? No. A faithful servant would follow their master's directions and keep the home ready for their return. Jesus' parable in Mark chapter 13 verses 32 to 37 illustrates that the same is true of what our master Jesus has given us, possessions, gifts, talents, and the like. It's not really ours after all. He left it in our care temporarily. We don't know when he will return, whether in the evening or at midnight or when the rooster crawls or at dawn. But God's word tells us what we should do in the meantime. Here are a few tasks our master has for us while we wait. Stay alert and vigilant, Mark 13, 33. Pray for all the Lord's people, Ephesians 6, 18. Serve one another with our spiritual gifts, 1 Peter 4, 10. Care for the needy, James 2, 14, 17. Practice humility, Philippians 2, 3 to 4. Let's stay on guard for when some day becomes today. We don't know when Jesus will return. What talents and gifts, gifts has he given you? Perhaps you have the gift to teach, the talent to sing and worship him. Are you doing it? Are you teaching others about the word of God? If you don't know what talents or gifts God has given you, ask him to reveal those to you. And when he reveals them, ask him where he wants you to use them and let him use you because we don't know when he's going to come for us and we need to stay on guard.